What's going on folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and today I wanted to talk to you about some dice. I have two sets of gemstone slash, you can kind of even see these ones are glowing rainbow, but they're not LED dice. These are from a company that I'm going to call, I think it's Magis 7 is how you pronounce it, but they make high quality gemstone and glass dice, and I think you can even see it. Do you see how it's sort of almost like got this rainbow sheen and glow to this particular D12 that I'm holding? This is not an LED die. You can even see it right there. This is a glass prism die that just catching the light itself makes it glow like that. Uh, and then the other set I have here are a set of Labradorite dice. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, and if you don't know, I'm actually a geologist by degree. I have a Bachelor's of Science in Geology. And one of my favorite stones that I learned about in college is actually Labradorite. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you can see kind of on that 19, there's a little bit of like a, a like a rainbow sort of sheen or glow. It's actually called Labradorescence. It's a property unique to this particular rock. So seeing that they had Labradorite dice as an example for what they have on their site as a gemstone, fantastic. I had to jump on it. So... I'm going to go ahead, I have an up-close cam set up so I can bring you in close and show off all the dice, but I'm also going to show you the website, talk about pricing, and a couple things that make Magic 7 a little bit different than your other standard gemstone retailer. So first of all, let's go ahead, I think we'll go to the website first. So here it is, here's the Labradorite dice I was saying. And you can kind of see how this D8 has this kind of sheen or like glow to it. That's that Labradorescence property that we're talking about. You're gonna get a standard set of seven dice here, what you'd expect to get. Another thing to note is that all of the numbers on these dice are laser engraved, so it's not going to fade away, which is important because obviously if you're gonna spend the money and invest in a set of gemstone dice, I think I also need to state, and I'll just come back here and say, right, you know, these are a luxury item. Gemstone dice are in fact a luxury item and you're going to want to treat them as such. That's why when you get them in the mail, they are, you know, sealed in styrofoam, in bubble wrap, tape shut, wrapped in, you know, significantly other amounts of bubble wrap. They come with uh, brown kind of dice bags, you know, linen dice bags or, or um, velvet dice bags you can put them in. I'd probably invest in something a little more stable personally, just because if you have these dice, you don't want to crack them or damage them in any way. Uh, and then you're probably also going to want to roll them on a soft surface right on top of some sort of leather or felt kind of dice box or tray. There's a variety of different options out there. If you're curious, I have a, a handful I can make videos on if you want to see what those are. But anyway, back to the website. Uh, because they're made out of rocks, right, these are not factory, you know, you know, out of the same mold, no, at least especially with the gemstones, no die is going to be the same. So the set of Labradorite dice that I have aren't necessarily going to be the same set that you would get because they're all individually made, which is, again, kind of makes them a bespoke, unique thing that you would have. You know, mine might have more Labradorescence on the D12. Yours might have it more on the 20, just basically how the rock breaks down. Um... I think that's pretty much it. Here it is. So the Labradorite dice that you see here, they are $69. And then here is our frosted glass prism ones. They're currently on sale again for $76 there as well. Same kind of situation. I do have some information that I got from the folks at Magic 7. It says free shipping to Canada, Europe, and the US, which is pretty awesome, especially because these are a little bit heavier. They're going to be more heavy than your standard kind of acrylic resin dice, but a little bit lighter than a set of metal dice. Um, they're provi uh, the stores, actually, Magic 7 store is provided by local factories because usually you can get with middleman trading of, of different dice productions that'll drive up the cost a bit. That's why even though these are a little bit expensive, more expensive than your standard set of dice, they're going to come in cheaper depending on what company you go to to look for them. Uh, and they're produced by the largest gemstone dice factory, uh, professional experience in making D and D dice for about 15 years. And they have strict quality control, uh, to process, including the material number printing dice size to make sure that you're going to get a quality product that's consistent within and of itself. So I think that's enough. Uh, again, like I said, you can also take a look here, right here are the other gemstone dice on the website. You can see right here's amethyst. Here's the Labradorite. Here's some rose quartz. I did like the rose quartz are pretty nice as well. We can see some obsidian stones. Tiger's eye and, and obsidian dice are pretty cool as well. Here's again sandstone. 
Some of these are um, more synthetic stones than traditional stones you'd find out in the wild, right? But here's um, these garnet dice. These, again, I think are glass. So then you have these dichroic glass here, and then, again, the kind of rainbow prism set that I picked up. And then, again, you can also customize the dice as well. So uh, it says custom initials or short text on the dice. Tell us about what die faces you want it to be. So if you wanted to get a really awesome set of, like, these blue sandstone dice, but you wanted like your logo or a little saying on one of the die facings, they do offer that as well. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit of an extra upcharge for that, but I will have a link in the description for you to go and take a look at these yourself. But let's go ahead and bring it in to our up close cam and we'll show off these dice. I think you're really going to be blown away by these glass prism dice. So let's go ahead and get that in focus. And you can see the laser etched, but because of the prismatic factor of it and it catching the light, do you see that? We, depending on what angle you're at, you have this sort of rainbow prism effect. And like I said, it the really the people I've shown these to are just blown away by these dice because they look, depending on how bright the light you have in in the room and what they're catching, they look like their led dice and like they're lit up from the inside but they're not it's just the nature of the dice themselves like look if i turn these you can see look at all the different color change let's go ahead and get the full set out now the only kind of small nitpick i have and look i like the prism kind of design there you can see on the d6 the only sort of nitpick that i have with these particular set of dice is they, uh, the numbers can potentially be, it's a frosted die, so it's a little hard to read in some instances, but I actually respect the decision to not put a painted die, uh, you know, number on this, because if you were to do so, you'd lose some of the sheen that you have. It's like, look at these dice. They're just, they're absolutely beautiful. And and honestly, the the brightness of the colors that you're seeing of the rainbow are actually significantly brighter here in person, than they are what you're seeing uh, here in on the screen. So let's go ahead and pull these back. Let's go ahead and roll this d20. That was a <laughs> well, that was a natural one. So hopefully, uh, either way, very cool dice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move these off to the side, and we'll bust out the labradorite dice, and hopefully we can find one that has a nice amount of labradorescence to show off for you all here. Kind of see it a little along the spine, this line right here on the D8. How it kind of has that, like, see the sheen there on the side of the three? Again, if you didn't know and didn't see that, they're just a nice kind of dark, smoky gray die with the nice gold painted numbers on the end here. All sharp edge. You can see, the, again, very sharp points on the D4s there and on the D8s. D6. And lastly is our D12. And I think you can kind of, yeah, you can kind of see it there on the top of the one face. It has the shine to it. Um, yeah, there you can kind of see it right there. How, like, they all have this kind of dark, smoky gray look, but if you get in the right light and have the right reflection pattern, that labradorescence shows through. Again, maybe labradorite isn't for you it obviously is for me because of my history and and geology and actually funnily enough you can get countertops made out of labradorite but you're gonna pay a pretty penny for it um so i just think these are fantastic dice these are actually funnily enough the first set of gemstone dice that i've ever owned uh normally uh gemstone again i'm always a little iffy on that but these looking through talking to the magic seven folks about the quality of these dice how beautiful they look and the fact that, you know, as far as gemstone dice go, they're relatively uh, fairly priced because you can be, I've seen people spend upwards of hundreds, if not several hundreds of dollars on gemstone dice of, you know, honestly, a similar or in some instances, a lesser quality, to be honest with you. So uh, I think that it's definitely worth checking out. I would highly recommend you go and take a look at the Magic 7 website. I'll have a link down in the video description if you'd like to check them out for yourself. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I'll see you all next time.